Uh, this is question number two. Two bells ring at intervals of 35 minutes and 42 minutes respectively. The bells ring together at 8.48 a.m. Determine the time uh, when the bells will ring together. Uh, here, uh, you use the knowledge that you learned in form two, that is the LCM, the least common multiple. Uh, this means that, uh, what it means is that uh, after uh, 35 minutes, the first bell will ring. After 42 minutes, the second one rings. At that five minutes again, it rings until there will be a time uh, when they will ring together. And that is, uh, we look for the least common multiple. The number which you multiply 35 uh, by a certain number, you multiply 42 by a certain number, uh, then you'll be able to get the same product, the same value, that is the same number. That is what we mean by the LCM. So if we take, uh, you in, in Form 2, you are taught how to get uh, the LCM. LCM, you get the, you write the numbers in factors. Uh, factors, then you get the values which are, uh, have the maximum power common in both numbers. For example, the the factors of 35, these are numbers which when you multiply you get 35, uh, we get this is 5 multiplied by 7, you get 35. What about 42? And if uh, you can also get the, the factors by using this method, by 5 you get 7, you learn that in, I think also in primary. Uh, then we have 42, we can write by 2, uh, you have 21. You get by 3, you have 7. So these are the factors of 42. Uh, 2 times 3 times 7. That is 2 uh, minus 3 times 7. The factors of 35, like that. You can also use this method. Uh, you can say 42. Uh, you say by 2, it is 21. By, two, uh, by 3, you get 7. So in any of this you, you are comfortable. I'm talking of when you are given a big number which you cannot be able to get the, the factors uh, uh, or off head. So to get the LCM, LCM is equals to, uh, we start with the 2. 2 is 2 power 1. We don't have uh, another 2. We come to 3. We multiply by, we only have 1, 3. If we have two threes here, up here, then we would have taken two times three, but we only have one. We have five, so we multiply by four and five, and we have one seven, multiply by seven. So uh, when you multiply that, uh, you should be able, you use your calculator. It is recommended that you use a standard uh, calculator. Uh, so you can, if you ca cannot be able to, to, to multiply overhead, but it is good to use a calculator so that you minimize uh, errors. You'll be able to get this is 210. Uh, so 210 minutes, that is the time they will ring. To, uh, that is the number of minutes uh, that uh, the be two bells will ring together. If you divide 210 by 35, you'll be able to get a whole value. That is, uh, you can say 210. Uh, you divide by that 5 uh, you'll be by 2 is 70 uh, by 3 is uh, 105 uh, 105 so this will be 6 times uh, that you'll be able to get uh, 21 so 6 times this bell I'm just explaining it's not part of the answer that part of the what you're supposed to do if you divide by 42 uh, you should be able to get uh, that, that by 42 you divide by 210 uh, then you should be able to see 5 multiply by that that is uh, two, uh, 10 21 so it means after 6 times the first bell it will take two, 10 minutes the second bell two, uh, 5 times it is 210 210 minutes how many minutes uh, how many uh, hours are this so you divide 210 by 210 divide by 60 uh, you'll be able to get it is three uh, that is uh, 
that is uh, 3 is 180 uh, 0 and this is 3 uh, so point uh, you get 5 so 3 and a half hours 3 and a half hours this means it is uh, and the, the, they they run together at 8.45 so 8.48 you add 3 and uh, 3.5 is the same as 3 point uh, 3 hours 30 minutes uh, so 0 0.5 hours is the same as 30 minutes so this will be 8 uh, this is 7 minus 60 because we are working with hours so you'll be left with 1 uh, we carry 1 this is a 9 plus 2 is 12 so it means that the, bo the bells will ring together at 12 18 this will be pm so that is the answer to that question so that is the order that you follow so when you, this is the application of lcm uh, which you run to inform to uh, and that is how you apply that